first it's important if we wanted to talk about the Underground Railroad of, you know, what it was as a network and then what those routes actually look like. Um, if you look at the map over to your left, one of the things that, <clears throat> that you'll notice is all of those routes are not going north in terms of the Underground Railroad. And that is one of the myths that many people believe about the Underground Railroad. They think that people just went north but people also went in various different areas. In the map, you can see that people were going south and leaving out of this country into the islands. So you had people who were escaping plantations in the deep south going into Florida and being welcomed into that indigenous land by the Seminoles, forming families together. Many of them even fought during the Seminole Wars. You had many people who were also enslaved in Texas that escaped down into Mexico. And to this day, you have thousands of people of African descent who live in Mexico who are known as Afro-Mexicans, and they got there through escapes from plantations. So that journey in terms of freedom wasn't just going north, it was also going south. The image that you see to the right is a famous image of a person known as Osman the Maroon. And the term Maroon is not referring to color. Maroon comes from the Spanish word semaroon, which means rebel or unruly. And these were a segment of the population of enslaved people who would escape plantations and build communities in very difficult or hard to reach territory, such as swamps. So this image that you see of Osmond the Maroon he is in an area that is known as the Great Dismal Swamps. So that area covers along the Northeast coast from Virginia into North Carolina. And there were many people in order to gain freedom, they would escape and live in those type of very difficult and hard to reach areas because enslavers would be less likely to go and strive to capture them in those locations. And we begin to form communities there those maroon or rebel communities were not just in the Great Dismal Swamps. Some of those communities were also in Florida, in that area known as the Everglades. And you also had communities like that in Caribbean places, such as the mountainous areas of Jamaica and other different locations. And that was also one way that people resisted slavery by settling in locations like that. 